Hello everyone. Today, we are going to see all the new features of this Luba 3 from Mamotion, and especially what the new functionalities are, such as the Drop Mow feature, which is designed to mow any area that has not been mapped. As you will have understood, it will now work without the RTK antenna, but with its LiDAR, its front camera, its vision, with the possibility of Net RTK, which is the robot's 4G. This new robot with two cutting decks will exist in a 1500 version for gardens of 1500 square meters. However, the autonomy will be a bit lower for the 1500 version, and the power per motor will be 88 watts, compared to 165 watts for the 3000, 5000, and 10,000 square meter versions. If you want to see more details and specifications, you will find the robot link in the description, and you can benefit from a 50 euro discount on your first order. Overall, there are not a huge number of new features. On the Luba 3, we no longer have the sound sensors that were present on the Luba 2. In terms of suspension, it may be more reinforced on the Luba 3 compared to the Luba 2. There used to be an empty section here. Another major new feature on the Luba 3 version is the charging station, with large charging contacts. Here on the Luba 2, they were small contacts, very small. Sometimes it had trouble docking. For some robots, I know that it could block at this level. I think this system with larger contacts is much better. And speaking of charging, at the rear of the Luba 3, the contacts protrude slightly. On the Luba 2, they are flat contacts. Personally, I never had any issues with charging on the Luba 2, and we still find the nightlight that was already present on the Luba 2. What is good is that the LiDAR is very well protected on top. If the robot were to be flipped over, this would prevent damage and scratches. On the Luba 3, we also have improved cutting decks. I think this helps to better circulate air. They seem much more solid, and they have a cutting width of 40 centimeters. When we look at it like this, we can clearly see that the decks are not completely flat. There is a small hatch here that provides access to various cables. Unfortunately, it does not give direct access to the battery. I think the robot will need to be disassembled further to access the battery. Mamotion told me that the battery is quite substantial. Another strong point of this robot is that we can easily change the sides, the protective edges of the robot using small screws. This was not really the case on version 2. Another point as well. There are small fins that help evacuate the grass better and likely reduce grass projections. This was not present on version 2. The 4G is free for three years. There are many improvements in the application, and I think it will be the same for the Luba 2. You also have this new battery feature if you want intelligent charging, a customized charge if you do not want it to charge beyond 80%. To avoid damaging the lawn, there is the multi-point turning mode. We can see that the robot moves forward and backward. This is really great to avoid damaging the lawn too much. It will turn in several steps, or you have the zero turn mode, which is recommended when the ground is dry. This allows faster mowing. To go back to charging, you can tell it to go directly or to follow the perimeter, with the possibility of managing the distance from the edges. If you want to mow as close as possible, the robot will leave about 10 centimeters of uncut grass. It will be one of the mower robots that cuts closest to the edges, I think, because it has two cutting decks positioned quite far to the sides. Previously on older models, we were limited to 0.6 meters per second. Now we can go up to one meter per second, which allows mowing up to 650 square meters per hour, which is quite impressive. This will not apply to the 1500 version, but to the other versions. You can also vary the blade rotation speed. In high mode, it makes a bit more noise. If I switch to low mode, it immediately becomes much quieter. Regarding installation, it is also ultra simple. The fact that there is no antenna makes it incredibly fast, even for people who are not very familiar with technology. The robot is extremely easy to set up. Now we are going to test the drop mow function. To do this, we go into an area that I have not mapped. When moving the robot manually, we can go up to 1.2 meters per second to map a large garden, which can be very practical. For example, this area is outside the activity zone. You need to go to the beta drop mow feature and start. We are now in an area that is not mapped by the robot. It is currently mapping. We will see how it performs. Now it has started. It is mowing. Okay, we will see. The advantage with Mamotion is that they regularly update the application. 
we will be able to get new features like this throughout the season. The robot is already very complete and very precise. This feature will be tested later, probably in another video, especially in spring, because there is not much grass to mow right now, but it is currently under development. You can find the link in the description to see the robot's price, its specifications, and more details. We can clearly see that it manages to orient itself well, even without a completed map. If you want to see my full test in a large garden, you have the link right here. Feel free to check it out. If you have questions, feel free to ask them. I will answer you directly. And subscribe, because many tests will be coming out in the next few days. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.